welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about GCU, the truth about GCU, what you don't know. I mean, maybe you do. I'm gonna talk about all the stuff that I learned about GCU and I'll put in pictures and videos so you can kind of see from a real perspective of what it's like. Okay, let's start with the school portion. Last year, I was a biology pre-PA major. I actually switched because I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. So, I had one bad professor and her initials. Okay, all I want to say is make sure you look on Rate My Professor before you approve your schedule. I looked on Rate My Professor for all of my professors and it was all really accurate. So many of the teachers rely on participation points. It's such a huge part of the classes, all the ones I was in at least. You basically had to go to class or else you would lose 5 or 10 points per day. It came out to be a pretty big chunk of your grade if you don't go to class. All of the professors I had were super, super, huh? They were super willing to help. And same with the IAs, the instructor assistants. They had office hours and I went to office hours one time and it was like a group study session basically. I don't know if that's how it is for all of them, but it was really, really helpful. It just is easier when you're in those huge lecture classes to go and meet with a professor or the assistant individually or in a small group. They also have tutoring at the ACE centers, which stands for academic something. The tutors are students who have previously taken the classes. And I've heard from some people their tutor wasn't that helpful, but the guy that I had was really nice and he was very smart. And at GCU, they make it really obvious that they want the students to succeed. So it really feels like they care about their students. I feel like all the resources I need academically are there for me. And they make it very easy to get a hold of tutoring and professors and stuff like that. I'm going to talk about the housing. So... I was in an apartment this year so I got my own room and I did random roommates and I met them the day I moved in so that was quite a journey that's for sure. And freshmen can be in a dorm or an apartment they have limited space for freshmen in apartments so a lot of freshmen are in dorms but the dorms are so nice they have a little living room and then there are two bedrooms and each room has a bathroom and you can be in double or triple occupancy. Oh yeah, if you want to watch my move-in video, you can see how that process was. I'll link it down below. But they have maintenance people, so our sink broke or something, so we just put in a facilities request and the maintenance guy came in, fixed it, so that's super easy if you have any trouble with toilets or sinks or anything like that. There's also on each floor, in my building it was the first two floors were boys and then the rest up were girls so there's not any mixed genders on each floors you have to have a little key fob to get into the floor and to the building but obviously it's really easy to just like wait for somebody to open the door if you're going to visit someone the opposite gender can't be in your room ever that's like for the whole entire school but also i'm gonna say it's pretty easy to get away with unless you're being super loud they can't be in your common area in your room like your living room past 12 so they can't be on your floor you have to keep the door open when there's people from the opposite gender in your room i'm going to talk about the social events and social things i guess welcome week was really fun there were events every single night that we could go to and it was just such a fun time to explore the campus and see what everything was like yeah the events continue they keep having events almost every week of the year and it's so fun. So there always is something to do and a lot of people do intramural sports or club sports. I played club beach volleyball this year and that was super fun. If you are new and you want to meet some people definitely join a club or join intramural sport because just a great way to meet people. There's also clubs for your major and there's also a club fair at the beginning of the year. 
I went to that and it was pretty cool to see all of the different clubs. So all the clubs have a little booth that they set up and you can talk to the people who run it and learn about it. And then also there's life groups that your life leader puts on. And that's a great way to connect with people on your floor. If you have trouble with anything, it's nice to have people on your floor that are there for you. And overall, my experience meeting people was 10 out of 10. I had so much fun. I met a lot of people in class that I became really close with. And I had heard so many of my other friends from home saying that you can never meet anyone in class, but that's just not true. I really tried to talk to people a lot in my classes and I met some really great friends and it was fun. My biology lab group and I, we went out to Chick-fil-A every Thursday after our lab and that was so fun. I feel like I met a lot of people by accident kind of or by a friend of a friend. GCU, here's the tea, it seems big, the campus is big, but everywhere you go you will see somebody you know. It makes it seem really small and like a tight-knit community. That's why I think GCU is different from a lot of colleges because the community is so good. I've been to a couple other colleges and it doesn't seem like it's, it's the vibe. The vibe is not the same. I'm telling you it's weird. Obviously it's a Christian school. We have chapel every single Monday. So many people go to chapel. I was actually in a class kind of where I had to go to chapel which is perfectly fine with me because I would have went anyways and I got 0.5 credits per semester so I got one credit for going to chapel. I don't know if everybody can do that but if you have the option to you should definitely do it. Chapel was amazing. I loved chapel. The songs amazing. The worship team is so good and the speakers were all fantastic. GCU is in Phoenix like in a um, not great part of Phoenix so there's a gate around the whole college. I felt extremely safe on campus all the time. There's public safety that walks around. They're always just roaming the campus. I didn't have any worries of anything bad happening. Next thing I want to talk about is the amenities of GCU and the things you can do there. There's so many things to do. Let me just name a couple. We have lots of gyms like five or six, five or six pools. We have a huge rec center with basketball courts, volleyball courts, ping pong tables, and a rock climbing wall. We have a bowling alley which also has karaoke on Thursdays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays or something. We have lots of fields. A lot of people play soccer and basketball. We have the beach volleyball courts. Spike ball. There's a lot of spike ball. Yeah, there's so much to do. I didn't have a car on campus, so I really didn't need one, but it was nice that my friends had one, so if I needed to go to Walmart or if we wanted to go on a trip or anything, my friends could drive me. I will say, if you're a freshman, you don't need your car, but it is nice to have one in your friend group just in case you ever need to go somewhere. Okay, I want to talk about the food on campus because it's very interesting how GCU does it. We don't have a dining hall, we just have restaurants around campus and I really like that actually, but I was in an apartment so I was able to cook my own food if I wanted to. I have an autoimmune disease so I can't eat gluten and my experience with the food on campus was really positive. I could see on the menu what I could eat and what I couldn't eat. They were really good about separating the food. If you have an allergy or anything, they're really willing to help you. Here's a um, couple, a random thing that I just thought of. You have to pay for laundry, which I know a lot of people don't have to do that. But it's $1.25 per load, and there's an app that you can get to do it like transfer you just use an app, you know. And I've seen a lot of people talk about fines. There are fines if you get like a parking ticket or if you get locked out of your room. I got locked out of my room and I got fined $10, but I don't even know where to pay, so I still haven't paid that. You're not gonna get fined if you 
fall rules or if you just don't get caught honestly like okay to end this whole thing off i'm going to talk about my favorite thing about gcu my least favorite thing and what i wish they had my number one favorite thing is it feels like i'm at a resort every day the campus is beautiful there's so many nice amenities the food is great the people are great so i guess my favorite thing is just everything my least favorite thing Oh, my least favorite thing is people who steal scooters and stuff, which is literally not the college's fault at all. But beware of that if you're bringing a scooter or a skateboard or anything. Make sure you lock it up because I got my scooter stolen and I was really mad. I really just don't have any least favorite. Maybe the curfew. I guess that would be my least favorite. Yeah, just the curfew, I guess, for boys being out of your room. That's really not that big of a deal either and then what i wish gcu had it's a very weird thing but a trash chute it would just be a lot easier but i mean you can't have it all but a trash chute would be really nice i sound like i'm somebody's telling me to say nice things but i promise you i just had a really great experience and if you put yourself out there go to events join clubs you're gonna find a good community of people and you're probably gonna have a great time too let me know if you have any other questions i'd love to talk about gcu <laughs> watch my other videos for an inside look at student life and thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe bye toodles college is strange it seemed like I was at a summer camp, like a summer camp resort.